hello there as you can see my face is back to normal well normal for me anyway have you ever been stung by a bee or a wasp i have a few times it's true they are jabbing me with bee venom why well because i'm allergic to it oh that seems a bit crazy well if you start off by giving a tiny tiny amount and then gradually build it up you can sort of trick the immune system to say oh, maybe it's not so bad after all this may or may not apply to other allergies disclaimer 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 don't try this at home on all that jazz so what happened for me was i used to be a beekeeper and however careful you are things always go slightly wrong so i think there were two years i didn't get any stings at all but most years you get a sting or two but i noticed over the about the decade that i was doing it that gradually it got worse and worse that i'd swell up more and more um one time my whole arm swelled up um <clears throat> and but i felt all right in myself so it never occurred to me that um i was gonna you know i was heading towards anaphylaxis until it happened and in 2017 i got yet another bee sting except this time i really felt very weird and i asked my friend who was with me to call the ambulance <laughs> The thing is, sometimes you can be clever and redesign things, can't you? Yeah, I'd redesigned my uh, beekeeper suit uh, in the hope of making it better, but I actually made it worse, and a bee got in and stung me right by the eye. And, yeah, my whole face swelled up, as you can see. And, um, yeah, I couldn't see out of one eye <laughs> and the other, more or less. But... The swelling was the next day. What happened at the time was I just felt very, very weird all over. Um, just kind of uh, hot and cold flushes. Uh, I could feel my pulse racing. Just feeling very weird and not good. And the ambulance came, checked over my vitals, and yeah, sure enough, things weren't quite right. Uh, I declined to go to hospital, which um, I now realise was a terrible mistake. So if that's something like that, that happens to you, go to the hospital get them to check you over but i felt better by the time you know he'd come and you know i was clearly on the mend kind of thing so it meant that there was a delay in my getting diagnosed for being allergic to bee stings the treatment which takes three years is to get a tiny amount of bee sting followed by a little bit more a little bit more essentially they gave me a tiny amount uh, on day one followed an hour later by a slightly bigger amount followed by an hour later a slightly bigger amount and that all went well and then gradually they build up over a, a period of weeks uh, seven weeks uh, and then you you get to the level where you're getting hmm, one and a half to two bee stings worth of bee venom bees vary and you might be able to brush it away in time so you only get less but yeah, a, you know, a good dose is given to me every eight weeks now um, and for three years. And then basically, I always have to carry the EpiPens just in case, but essentially I'm cured. Isn't that brilliant?